It's eight o'clock. Not a human. I wonder if the fair is closed today. As far as I know, it's every Saturday. I can't be the first one here, though. I mean, I am, but that's very, very odd. It's only eight o'clock. Everybody gets here by seven thirty or so. I gotta check this out. My setup for Saturday. People are setting up. I was the first one to get here. That's why I had the mumbles. I had never been the first one to get here. I want to show you something if I can find him. How you doing today? Okay. See you, Papa. Look. Papa, look. Oh. <laughs> it's a day old. Well, two days. Today. Two days old? No kidding. Two this morning. Yeah, bring it back. There's your big truck out today. How about it broke down the road? Oh, morning. yeah? Oh. Yeah, and not. I switch a little bit uh, and then pick up because I, I don't got a good look this way. I got it. Get it working. Last, last Saturday, I got another one. Broke the motor. Damn. And now I got it. Another one on the wall now. You have to. There it is. Well, it's a little after nine. Starting to buzz around a little bit. But it ain't buzzing for me. I do. And some scissors. Cool. Singers. And then this world famous stainless steel that is so hard <laughs> to this sharpen. Is, this is one like I had. It's not mine. I didn't have time to get it, so I went by my buddy's house. And oh, you did? Picked you, up had some. To go, you had to go to him on <laughs> Oregon. Do a cleaver? Hey, Chris, here's your best. Like I said, uh, Oh, if we go yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you do your best, yeah. Yeah, yeah they'll be all right. Yeah, it's nice they come apart though, too, which yeah, is nice. It is nice. Yeah. I thought she broke them one and didn't fix them. Then I realized they went together like that. They're nice to come apart than they are. Business is picking up. Got a family of these. Scissors. Another pair of scissors. And a Faberware cleaver. I was thinking this guy was going to bring me a really fancy cleaver, but as it turns out, my favorite kind. <laughs> Stand by. This uh, little baby Sabata, Sabatha has got some microchips. She's in bad shape of the three knives he brought me. I got the 80 grit stone working on her now. Reprofile a little teeny bit, but she'll be okay here soon. Nice baby. Uh oh. Yeah, I want to know if this is even. I mean, should I just think about buying a new one? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Which I haven't sharpened. I will tell you. Oh, maybe try to get a little I got 
two little child's knives and want their knives sharpened. Then I got a flock more of these. What we got for me today? I, and I put fishing weights on my table to keep it from jumping around. Lawnmower blades. And I sharpen them with this drill thing. We don't have any electricity out here, see? So I have to use this. Home. Floral knife, right? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I see it right there. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's the first floral knife I think I've ever done. Yeah, they make them red. What is that? Is that a timer or something? That's my camera right there. You are my camera right there. Oh, really? So we're going to be in the NSA database now, probably. There you on the side, the length. Average about five or six dollars for big ones. Four dollars is three, three to four dollars for the small ones. The rainy ones uh, six or seven, eight, depending on the size and how many rates. Nothing to do. No knives to sharpen. No scissors. Lawnmower done. And it's a half hour to go. Well, I'm ready to go. My wicked edge signs in there. My wicked edge is right there. All my utensils and blades and paddles and etc. is right there. My tables are back here. My stand and my umbrella. My chair. 
a little rice burner. And that is the best of it. Look at that. Cupcake from the cupcake lady. Free cupcake too. I like free. Okay, I'm going uh, trying to hunt for some yellow. If the weather don't get us, we got a storm moving in. Supposed to be bad this afternoon. But everything I got is waterproof, so that makes no difference to me. Yellow don't care. Yellow's there just waiting for the pluckers. Looters, as we call them. See you later. Well, for homework, you saw this bad boy right here. I'd like to know more about this knife. It has no stamps on it anywhere. No name. You would think a nice big old knife like this old would have some information on it. But it has nothing. He wants me to sharpen it up and clean it up. It's nice. Heavy. I like it. And then these, I sharpened these last week. And the lady brought it by. She said, can you clean these up? I said, sure. I can do anything. So I got that little task this week. Forged. Can't make out what it says. That's just a piece of ship brass uh, plating they use on old sailing ships. I found it on the beach the other day. I was trying to identify it. On If it's in the 1700 era, actually all this stuff was stamped by the maker. If you find it on a certain spot, it will actually have the maker's name on it, when it was made, and who made it. But I can't find it on there. That's not knife related anyway. Anyway, homework. I like it. A week's worth of homework. Stand by. We're working on a video. Or we will be. I didn't realize until I got in the house that that camera I was using was in black and white. So I figured I'd shoot a short video on this knife in color. You can see it's a fine knife. Big. It has no markings whatsoever any place. I'm looking for comments. Anybody got any clue what it might be? Okay, that's it for today.